Here's our summary video for week seven. I'm Dr. Peter Minky, this is Minky Wellness. And we've been journeying along and working through the body systems and we're on the second body system. We're gonna go one system per month and we've been doing the blood and lymph. And this week's been a, a pretty busy week talking mainly about metabolism and energy, uh, the energy systems of the body. How do we convert food into energy and and, and how does that get delivered? We, we you know, we, deliver the nutrients through the blood, flood the body with nutrients. So um, this is gonna be a quick summary. There's a lot of information packed in this week, so you might wanna go back and check each of the videos individually. We started off uh, with uh, looking at the blood sugar, because that's really the energy system. That's the, you know, kind of the dollar bill of the energy uh, system. We, we convert everything into simple sugars, you know, glucose, and we run that glucose into the bloodstream. The problem is, is we can really easily throw that system out of balance when we eat simple sugars. So we can do a lot in our wellness category to manage our blood sugar and to help uh, maintain healthy blood sugar by watching what we eat. If we quit the simple sugars, we're going to watch our glycemic index. Uh, the glycemic index is a measure of how fast sugar rushes into the bloodstream, and that is going to be it's going to dictate how fast our insulin responds or insulin kicks in and the insulin is of course is uh, is there to signal to the cells to p take up uh, take up the blood sugar but uh, you know it's not that I mean it's that's not the end of the story once the cell takes it up all of a sudden it's activated it's now has sugar it has to deal with this sugar well that sugar feeds right into the energy system of the body and of the cell and so it starts to crank up its energy production which costs uh, in in the form of um, oxidative stress they it forms free radicals in the mitochondria when we make ATP so we increase our, our free radical base uh, our base inflammation in the body at the cellular level is going to increase as we increase increase our metabolism and we need to make sure that we under that, that this is worth it in other words we don't want to be goosing the system artificially the other thing about this glycemic index is that once that insulin pumps in and that blood that sugar is rushing out of the blood into cells there are certain cells that pick up that sugar easier and that's brain cells okay that's what activates the brain uh, and then so you know we want to make sure we get our kids off of sugar especially if they're having trouble focusing um, and then we've got the uh, fat cells, of course, they love to take up that sugar and store it because fat is really stored energy. And then we have cancer cells that don't listen to anything and they will actually take up uh, sugar because they're just in the, in the growth mode. We don't want to grow, 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 grow. They can always use the extra energy. So we don't want to have a, a, an insulin response. We want to keep it very, very level. And we do that with diet by eating a balanced diet, uh, making sure we have plenty of fiber that slows down the sugar, uh, sugar metabolism. Um, and then, you know, we, so it's all linked together. And when we got into this, the second day, um, well, of course we have, um, in terms of the, uh, the second day, we talked about breathing, blood, and metabolism. And we kind of just took it one step further into, you know, not sugar is only one aspect. We really looked at this whole energy system of the metabolism and, and talked about what all the pieces are. And so as we start looking at this, it's, you know, we've got a whole bunch of different pieces of the puzzle and we can do a lot herbally and supplement wise to help balance our metabolic processes. And, you know, we do some breathing to help with that too. And we have digestive enzymes that can help us break down our food, right? Because if that doesn't happen correctly, or if the, if we eat, uh, a meal and only the simple sugars get absorbed because those those go in first but the rest of it doesn't happen then I'm sitting here chugging along trying to digest my food and it's not providing any energy for me and my blood sugar has gone up because I've got simple sugars raced into the bloodstream insulin response happened and now the insulin still hanging around the bloodstream it causes a crash and now I'm hungry because I haven't metabolized the other food that I ate, the fat and the protein and the, and the complex carbohydrates haven't been metabolized yet because the system's too slow, I'm not really doing it right. I mean, you know, so there's where digestive enzymes can really curb the hunger signals that happen even though you've just eaten uh, and you can help break down those foods and deliver those nutrients into the bloodstream. Once the, the well, of course, there's other things that help with enzymes. There's minerals, zinc and, and copper and magnesium and selenium and all kinds of enzymes that help help with, I mean, uh, uh, and minerals that help enzymes do their jobs. Uh, and then we, so that's one part. We also have certain minerals and certain herbals uh, and vitamins and stuff that are useful for metabolic processes. We've got the B vitamins in the liver uh, and we've got the um, chromium for helping with uh, sugar metabolism. We have uh, 
uh, I'm, I, there's a long list, but you know that's why I start with multivitamin. The master formula it can, covers all the bases, so we don't have to worry about which one. And you know, we just kind of if we start off with our experience in our body of getting the, the, a very good, at widespread, balanced nutritional profile of all these micronutrients, then we can, you know, uh, uh, then I've got a really good good platform to go on. So we're starting with that in the context of this whole metabolism thing. Um, we also have herbals that can help, and if you look at herbal teas that have been recognized to help with sugar metabolism, for example, or pancreas function, uh, we've got dill, fennel, coriander, peppermint for stomach, uh, you know, other teas, uh, burdock and, and alfalfa and uh, yellow dock and other things for, for liver support. So when you look at these, uh, you know, there are some definitely some herbal products and if you start looking at the different ingredients You can start lining them up with uh, different products that you can have available one of them of course is our dill vitality oil um, You know essentially turns into a, a supplement a tea uh, as we use the oil So I would often take dill oil in a capsule if I feel like I need extra support for my carbohydrate me metabolism so um, the, the, so there's a lot of options we have there and doing our breathing, we kind of work to get in touch with that whole process of the, the liver and the pancreas uh, all involved and the basic nutrients that have to get to the liver uh, to, to help that do its job, the enzymes and I'm feeling all those, of course we can, we can supplement with enzymes, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, okay, so we've got the, um, that the whole part of this is really feeling the vitality in the body uh, and feeling grateful and gratitude for that. A lot of times we have this uh, idea of, um, of, especially our relationship with fat, for example, is, is a negative one. But if you really honor the fat tissue for what it's good for, what it's doing in the body, and you say, okay, this is stored energy, and you thank it for that stored energy, uh, and you have a good relationship with your body in all parts of your body, even the fat, for example, uh, then we can actually have uh, you know, start to work with the fat, and it's not we don't we're not combative, okay? And and we've been talking about consciousness, so I hope you understand that what you think about and the energy you put through your brain goes straight into your body and into the water. The water actually picks that up. So on uh, Wednesday, we we kind of uh, digressed a little bit from from energy metabolism and talked about the basic cellular structures, cells that are inside the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets that are inside the blood. And they, of course, they do each do a different function. And we didn't get into uh, details about white blood cells. There's a whole slew of white blood cells that we might get into when we talk about the the immune system. But we talked about the um, the red blood cells. Uh, you know, and and so the bottom line though on these cells is the, all these cells are floating independently. They're very different than other body tissues cells which are embedded and surrounded. So these cells in particular, if we have a, a toxicity situation, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, heavy metal toxins, uh, pesticide residues, anything that damages the cell membranes in the body, these cells are going to go first. In other words, they're going to get hit first because they are floating free. They, their membranes are all they have. So if those membranes get stiffened or weakened, then our blood gets weak and that's the first place that it happens. And the, whereas the tissue cells that are embedded, like the skin cells, they're surrounded, they're protected. They're not going to pop or they're not going to have an impact uh, as quickly. If, you know, if they have a membrane, if there's a membrane toxicity, membrane weakness, they're not going to be damaged as quickly as the blood cells are. So that's an important thing to understand. And so in that case, we look at, okay, what do we need to really make sure we supplement to help the, protect the blood from chemical damage and exposures out in the world? And a lot of those are heavy metal toxins and these other chemical toxins. So we talked about sulfur, uh, sulfurzyme, young, young living sulfurzyme, uh, detoxime, and super C as primary mechanisms to help with this damage. And of course, we always like the antioxidants. And that actually, I'm, I'm going to skip forward. The antioxidants are on the fifth day. We talked about the antioxidants in the blood. And that's how important the antioxidants are uh, because in, in, if the blood gets oxidized, if the blood gets damaged by these chemicals and other things, uh, then it actually gets thicker, it doesn't flow very well, and we get weak blood cells and things start fragmenting and you have little broken fragments in the blood and that cr creates uh, inflammation cascades. And so we really want to protect uh, antioxidants protect the body in a number of different ways and at a cellular level we have to understand that the antioxidants, and we're talking about day five now, I'm going to skip today and I'll go back in a minute, but um, 
the antioxidants um, are compartmentalized inside the cell. So what can happen is we've taken our antioxidants as a supplement, especially if, they're, if we're eating our fruits and vegetables and we're getting our water-soluble antioxidants, then those are sitting around and floating around in the bloodstream, but they didn't get inside the cell. And in the meantime, we're eating sugar and ramping up the cellular metabolism so that the mitochondria are cranking. The mitochondria, inside the mitochondria, they're getting damaged by the free radicals that are formed in the process of making ATP from sugar. And those the, we've depleted inside the cell, we've depleted our antioxidant stores. This is bad because now the mitochondria are getting damaged, the DNA inside the cell is getting damaged, even though the, uh, in the bloodstream we've eaten our fruits and vegetables. But because we, we have racked up our sugar uh, on one side and we just don't have enough, uh, there's not enough storehouse of antioxidants in the body. So we do not want to get depleted. It is so important that the cell maintain a regular level, I mean a very good level of, of uh, antioxidants in the tissues in the cell, actually in the cell itself. And one of the best ways to do that is our Ningxia Red product, so I'm really, really pleased uh, and, and I'm really pumped about that. And it really is nothing like it's still on the market, even after 12, or I think we've had it for at least a dozen years, maybe a little bit more. Um, and, and what a fabulous product that we can still have for fat-soluble and water-soluble antioxidants. And of course, we have the uh, essential oils that are fat-soluble antioxidants that are very small molecules. They penetrate right through the membrane system, so they go anywhere inside the cell and, and can help us protect against that, that oxidative damage and those free radicals. So, um, so the, last, uh, the last day, which is Thursday, I know I skipped a day, we talked about rest and repair. And it's, uh, you know, we don't necessarily focus on rest. A lot of times, we, a lot of times when we talk about a wellness program and, and you ask someone, okay, hey, how's, how's your wellness program? What do you want out of your wellness program? They say, oh, I want energy. I want more energy. And so we did this. We, we did all this breathing and got in the thyroid and, and it was fabulous. And, and I, mentioned, I forgot to mention that. We did, uh, we did that, uh, I guess that was on, on day two. We breathed into the thyroid. Uh, and, and we really got felt like the whole metabolic system in the body was, we know how to get in touch with that. But then we don't really, we never really come down, right? It's all about ramp, 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 energy, 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 energy. We really do need to learn how to relax. We need how to come down, bring that body system down and rest because there's stuff that has to happen. We cannot keep cranking all the time because all that energy production has a cost, okay? And we've got to pay back. We've got to restock uh, the shelves, so to speak, and, uh, and get the, the rest and repair going on. So we don't really repair very well if we don't rest. There are entire hormone cascades that happen with resting that come from the brain and they come down and, and only in the presence of those resting hormones are the, does the repair mechanism kick in. And so there's a direct connection between the rest and the immune system and, and, and tissue repair and things like that. But there are supplements that can help us with the repair part and I'm gonna go back to sulfurzyme and trace minerals which are in our, our master form. Formula. So this is another reason why I do I've recommended what I've recommended because they're so good. Um, so these repair mechanisms. Let me see. I'm just gonna go through. Um, one of the main themes on that is that if we don't repair, then we've got yesterday's mess, yesterday's debt carrying over to today and we're carrying a wellness debt one day after the next and we've got to get that rest and repair going on so that we can reset and start over and be fresh for today and and that's so important so when we breathe in and give gratitude for the vitality that we have. I just really, I, I love the feeling of being vital, but we also need to have, get good at the feeling of being at peace and resting. Uh, and this is a great uh, a breathing series to do before, right before bed, okay? So I know, I, like I said, there was a lot of information, so I didn't get a chance to do much of the breathing with you today. So I highly recommend that you, you go back and look at this has been a fabulous week for really getting into the details of, of how this works, at, a, at the whole body participating. We're starting to go outside the blood and understand how all that works and we did some really good breathing exercises uh, that that it would be nice to go back and, and share with you but I don't have the time so um, but you could they are there you can go back and look at those and um, so what we're gonna do now we're heading into next week we are going to uh, launch for the we're gonna launch the supplement list for next month uh, for those of you who are, are on the ball and are ordering early uh, and then I don't I think that we're not going to have the graphic ready You know that really nice graphic that Amy produces because she's uh, she's not available right now, but um, I will at least uh, try to post that list so that you will know I'll have that video and then we will go into um, The the last part about and we're gonna do a lot about cleansing We're gonna go back into cleansing the blood and we're gonna be physical emotional cleansing of the blood 
uh, and then we'll be ready to move into the, di the liver uh, digestion and liver uh, for March, okay? So that's the plan. I hope you've had a great week and uh, and there's been a lot of good lessons here this week, so hopefully you'll be able to have a chance to go back and catch some of those uh, and do some more breathing. And those of you who are not doing the breathing with me, please, I encourage you, really get your consciousness. to It hones your consciousness. It's an amazing, amazing thing that after you start doing this for a little while, it starts to hone your consciousness and you have control over and, and you can dictate your own consciousness. It's, it's, I love it. It's very, very powerful. Okay. Happy wellness. We'll see you next week, Monday uh, or the week after if you're just catching the summaries. All right.